say son, you say boy. Son, son, y'all ready for whiskey? Hey, what's up, Vibers? Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you're catching the vibes. Well, you're welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube. It's Vibes Plus, and I'm keeping it real. I go by name ITL, the Vital Itor. Well, Vibes Plus is a channel that's concerned with celebrity gossip, trending issues, and a little bit of politics. Well, today I have something super exciting to dish out to you guys. Your favorite Nigerian artist, Wizkid, is celebrating his 30th birthday. Can you beat it? <laughs> this is so unimaginable. Wizkid is such a young guy that has made it so far. Imagine someone at the stage where Wizkid is and at the age of 30 must have accomplished a lot. Wizkid have achieved a lot. This guy has done a lot for the Nigerian music industry. That's why I decided to just get some little content online to just share it with you guys so that you guys would have the vibe of what has been happening over Wizkid's birthday. But something really, really unimaginable happened. Could you imagine Tiwa Savage did not even wish Wizkid happy birthday? What's happening? I think something is really wrong. Well, these are the clips you guys should have a look for yourselves. Mmm, welcome back. That was Whiskey. You guys should drop into the comment section down below and wish Whiskey a happy 30th birthday. Well, there's more like an update to what has been happening between Joy, Joy Nune and Godswill Akpabio over the NDDC saga. This woman is being attacked. People are coming over to her house trying to get her arrested and she doesn't know, there's no verification whether they are real cops or they are assassins sent to kill her. This whole thing got so bad that the governor of River State was the one that actually saved this woman. Near some weekend himself have to drive into that compound to save that woman. Ha, huh, this is really crazy. Come on. <laughs> well, without further ado, these are the videos you guys should watch for yourselves. Early this morning, about four o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the governor. Um, because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him since he issued the statement. So I tried to reach him, the phones were off, and then, so I called some people, they said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said, no warrant of arrest. So I left it about six o'clock, they broke the gate. And later, Senator Magnus Abbe now called me that he had reached the Commissioner of Police who said he didn't know anything about it. So the CP called me, I sent him my address, he came. They told me the CP was downstairs, the CP wasn't down, but I think he's the Deputy Commissioner of Police. So I opened the door, they wanted to grab me. I now pushed back the door and locked it and went upstairs, got through to my governor. They broke, they tried to break the back door, it's a security door. So. They kept hitting it for over one hour and they couldn't get access. So my governor came, asked them for the warrant of arrest. And why couldn't they invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman like a criminal? So the governor took me in his car and here I'm refugeeing the government house. That's all. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission before the house of um, 
representatives, the committee. I'm sure it's about that. Meanwhile, the, the, the man that harassed me is at home. The man who stole the money is at home. The man who stole government files is at home. The man who took money is at home. The man who said I should go and take an oath is at home. Hmm, Nigeria, what a country to live in. In this present moment, time and space. Could you imagine someone that's actually out to actually fight the corrupt practices that she noticed in NDDC? I don't think corruption is going anywhere in this country because corruption is happening. Look at the case of Magu. Now Joy Nune is out to make, she has made an explosive exposure. Well, they are trying to stop this woman from testifying in the court. So just come to imagine what's happening in Nigeria. Well, that does it for today. This is Vibes Plus and I'm yours truly ITL The Vital Light or keeping it real. Before you go, kindly hit on subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new content. It's Vibes Plus and I'm out. Peace.